clearly. I really hate your team. Oh, no, I no. I you can hate my team, but I appreciate your back office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair It's the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with the feds in the D Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A Bow, you already know what it is man Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc Don't let that get too far ahead of you Got my guy with me Showtime Miss Peter, nobody that knows bodies Bow! Yeah, 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 how it do, how it do What's, What's up man, time to talk about power moves You yeah, know what man. I'm saying, I went down last night mm -hmm. In Atlanta, hit man Hollis card, had five battles on it mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, let's test my memory Cause you know, I be brain dumping a lot of these battles First of all, what's up with you? Man, man I'm good man, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying Let me get the, the night off you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I definitely needed that. I was working. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, not to mention, by the time the event was like almost done, I was already almost home. So I'd had to get dressed and do all of that. So shout out to Hitman. Shout out to Power Moves for actually, here's one, one positive for the show. Hey, y'all started on time. You know what I'm saying? A battle rap event that started on started time. Started on time. I mean, I'm not mad at it. We talking about, they said this event started at 2. J2 and, and Snake Eyes was on stage about 2.20, 2.25. I'm not mad at that. And then by the time the whole event was over, people was home. It was probably like 9 o'clock. Yes. Yeah, man, like that, that that's not that's not a that's not a bad thing, man. So that's definitely a salute to them for that. But we can definitely talk about these battles. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Ab versus A War, Snake Eyes versus J2, mm -hmm. Swamp versus T Rex, New Jersey Twerk versus Big K, Hitman Holla versus Geechee Got it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I didn't even try to remember it. I pulled it up. I yeah. said, why why <laughs> work smarter, not harder? Why, you know? why, why would you do that? <laughs> I pulled you know what I mean? it up. You know yeah. what I mean? Um but no, shout out to everybody on the card, you know what Facts. I'm saying? Um the battle the first battle of the night. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's gonna be a lot of your reaction because I spoke about a lot of this yesterday. Yeah, so you yeah. know what I'm I saying? was in the live, we, I was in the chat. I was we in need chat. your opinion. I'm yeah. gonna just give you the battles and you tell me your thoughts and if anything changes, we'll move from there. But uh Snake Eyes versus J two. Alright, so Snake Eyes vs J two. Mm -hmm. The uh the takeaway that I got from that battle is there is a difference between pandering to a crowd and pissing the crowd off. Mm. By saying that, um, Snake Eyes, you didn't read the room. Um, and by by knowing that you didn't read the room, pretty much a lot of the stuff that was going against J2, it wasn't working for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as the, uh, you know, they, they, they used to say that Atlanta is one of the pride capitals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you can't kind of go in there straight gay bashing. Now, I get it. J2 is a battle rapper who is, of course, a homosexual. And that could be an angle that could be used. If this is his first, second, third, maybe up to his fifth or sixth battle. J2 been in this for a while now. So the gay yeah. angle, it's kinda, yeah. that don't do nothing. So that just gives you the freedom or the power to just throw in all of the gay slurs. In Atlanta, that ain't going to work. Problem number two with Snake Eyes, because I'm going to give you two for Snake Eyes and two for J2, and then I'm going to let you go ahead and fly on through. But the second uh, reaction is, you didn't just read the room, you doubled down on it, because you were already considered the villain, you were already considered the, the, the bad guy, you were already considered one of those guys who needed to win this battle, but the way that you took it was not a way that you was going to win that battle. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to J2's point, I was thinking to myself, man, J2, man, he's cooking J, he's cooking Snake Eyes in all of these face-offs. Usually, in these face-offs, if the one person is cooking the other person in a face-off, when the battle happens, the tides usually change, right? This did not go the same way. J2 slapped you in the parking lot. He slapped you in the vestibule area when y'all got y'all tickets checked in, and then he slapped you on stage. See, the thing is, mm, it's not even it's not even the fact that J2 was was being a better rapper, not even better to the pandering to the crowd, 
but he also was out barring you, Snake. Like, come on, man. I have to give this battle to J2 clearly. 5-0, because it was two face-offs in three rounds. So I got J2 winning this battle 5-0. Clearly. I really hate your team. Oh, no, I no. I you can hate my team, but I appreciate your back office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate They say, yo, Saquon, you trying to... Yeah, he said, let me go ahead out here. You know what I mean? And I tell you what, if we go the whole year, make it all the way, I might get a Saquon Barkley jersey. But not just yet, because I seen him. He did for me. You know what I mean? He missed that pass. If y'all get to the Super Bowl, I'll buy the Saquon. Woo! I would appreciate that. And that's a bet. And I'm going to get you your Shadoua Sanders jersey. Because yeah. uh, you, know you know niggas man? got the first pick. Yeah, let's get to it. You know what I mean? I ain't too mad. We lost to the Panthers today. I was hoping for that one, dog. Boy, it was a tough one. It was a nail. It was an overtime, too. I said, oh, God, please just lose, man. Yeah. Get it over with. Yeah, we lost, man. But what's up? Man? But congratulations. You know, y'all got the first round draft pick. You yeah, know what I mean? Get that, man. We trying to get that, man. You know how you get that. You, know that, you got to lose. You got to lose, lose a lot. lot. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Losing, these, like, geez, geez, these losses come. I love it now. Speaking of losing a lot, how bad do you think Snake Eyes lost? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I be clowning, but uh, he his first round, he had some serviceable material. I had J2, you know, he had big moments, you know. Uh, like, he was, he was, he said something about, uh, you, you pull up in that Buick, and I'll put a quarter in that century, like next year or something like that. Like he was wild and like the whole the peripheral, whole. the peripheral angle. The, he said, "Are you a shooter when you when you ain't yeah, got no?" Yeah. As soon as I pick up a Mac, you late. Like he was bugging, man. Yeah, J two was snapping. Like, Al Barn. Al Barn. Right, so, but I had I had him I had him three zero though. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? I had him three. Yeah. I had, I had, I had, that was one of the clearest. Snake promotes well. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, when he gets into battles like these grudge matches and shit, he don't be winning them. Mm -hmm. But he gonna be on cars because he knows how to talk. He's gonna promote. He's gonna talk his shit. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give him shit for it. But you know, I knew J two was gonna win before it even happened. Yeah. So why? I ain't it surprised. How am I yeah. surprised about something I knew was gonna happen? Yeah. If I knew what was gonna be on the parlay every week, I wouldn't have to work. Or I wouldn't. I could just chill forever. I'm not but mad. It's the surprise, and the surprise really didn't much um, so happen today. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So um, then after that, you had a uh, Av versus A Ward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up with that? Can I can I be honest here? Yes, sir. There's a lot of talk about Av being number one battle mm -hmm. rapper of the year. Right, right. And I really can see that now mm -hmm. because these are two crucial wins. Big time. Like, and by the two crucial wins, there's the hollow. Bang. And then you got A Ward. Bang. Granted, A Ward is not on a decline. But he's it's a slow decline. Like he's not losing like that. Cause I feel like I feel like uh A War versus Hollow was really good. I think I got Hollow in that battle. Mm -hmm. So therefore A War takes a little bit of a decline. And then in this battle, for him to get he didn't get bodied. He didn't get bodied. Yeah, clear. But it's a clear win for Av. And for me to say that, I've been saying that all year when it comes to whoever it is versus Av. Mm -hmm. Av with the clear win. Clear win for Av. Clear win for Av. To the point where now I'm asking myself, does Av really have any losses this year? Yeah. That, that kind of plays into it. So in this battle, Av did everything that he could possibly do. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was right there. Last week, uh, because of the, the boxing match, we know that, you know, Ab was one of the people who couldn't fight because of the high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And I knew coming into this battle that the blood pressure angle was going to be a thing. But for Awar, I didn't think he was going to use that for his whole first round. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's for for it's real last minute lazy writing because that lets you know that he's writing a round that he used in his first round mm -hmm. a week before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? like it's, and like, now it, it's not polished it, either. It, yeah, because it's not polished mm -hmm. because in this short amount of time that this happened, he wrote a whole round and used it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That doesn't tell me, oh, I had that round two months ago. It's mm -hmm. virtually impossible because mm -hmm. you couldn't have had it two weeks. Yeah, ago. you know what I'm saying? That's just the thought process. Mm -hmm. So it lets me know that. If, and if your first round is prepared that quick, mm -hmm. is the second and third prepared this quick? Yeah. So that starts to open mm -hmm. up that whole can of worms. But back to you. Man, that, and, well, that, and that goes right into it because if you want to talk about the first round, if you're not a big fan of the jokes or like all of the high blood pressure jokes and the unhealthy jokes, then you're really not going to like A-Ward's first round. 
and that's the round where, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, that's, that's the round gave that yep, that's the round that they gave A War. So they're like, if I gotta give A War a round, it would be the first. But you could tell in the writing and how it was portrayed and how it was performed, he just got that round out, and it looked like it just happened, right? So for the second and his third round, A War's not he's not stumbling. But he's not clean as he gets. Yeah, you can see he's floundering trying to get these rebuttals. So like the rebuttal game was not that crazy. It wasn't that crazy yeah. No, it didn't work. And for Ab to sound as polished as it was for all three of his rounds, even he even used the 30 over the 40 high blood pressure. Come on, man. It, 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 Ab clearly gets this battle. So that I yeah. and, uh, Ab said some shit. You fake Christians then turn battle rap to Canal Street. Cause you know the fake Christians and shit get sold downtown on Canal. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he said I, he said I got accomplishments on my soul like the Jordan Retro Tens. You know, cause they got the accomplishments. Cause it shows on rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he was just mm -hmm. in a bag. And you know, like I said yesterday, um, I'll reiterate from my watching perspective that Av was able to use punches with angles. And his angles was coming out better than A Ward's. Yeah. For the first. You know yeah. I mean? Like it was like wow. Like he was like you know you can't lie. You one of them Jesus niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the, the he's thing like a soccer nigga. He get messy around. Like he was just in a super punch bag. The fact that Av even used the angles into the punches mm -hmm. that just elevated him too because Av is considered a puncher, right? right. Where it could just be directed or that punch it and. To, uh, and for A Ward to even do the, not the Shang Tsung, but he basically, he gave y'all like a spoiler alert type thing. He said he's gonna give y'all all movie references, more Friday reference, uh, more Friday uh, talk than the, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So with that, and he still worked for Av? Yeah, yeah. Av clearly get that battle, man. Av clearly has that battle, man. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that next battle, though. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you. But now, if you look at Ab for his year, man, Marv one win, mm -hmm. Don Marino win, Rosenberg Raw win, Big T win, Hollow win, Trez win, 40 win, A Ward win. And then he had J2 too, beat him too. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a, it's been a heck of a run and for the guy. And these guys that you just named, I'm about to say none of them are considered low tier. Look, yeah, he's, he's had a, a phenomenal year. But um, what we had in that old Big K versus New Jersey tour? No, at, oh, uh, Rex. Rex. Yeah, versus. you ain't trying to skip over your mates. Uh, you uh, skipping over uh, your uh, mates. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Where the head throws, huh? Where that at? Huh? Uh, now we concerned, shit, huh? My bad, son. You know who else is getting? You know who else is getting put into these talks too about I ain't saying the number one, but damn it, if he didn't reach up there. So, so trajectory, right? You know what I'm saying? Niggas, I done sold so much dope on my cars come pot of coated. I said, ooh. No, no, see, hold on, damn. I sound like my brother right here. He said, because if it's memorable, you'll remember it. So, what's the joint when he said, you still use the pot? He said, I put it in the microwave. You got to put it in just enough to make it lock. And then he said. Put the napkin over the pot right. Because <laughs> I, cause I still got to cook food in that. That shit was crazy. God damn. Wait, who said that though? Cause you thinking, I know for y'all who didn't see the battle, you thinking when I'm saying this stuff, oh that was Rex, right? Swamp, that was Rex. Was no swamp, nigga, man. that was Swamp. You mean to tell me Swamp out drug talked Rex? By mile. By Rex? By country mile, not a city mile, by a country mile. I'm gonna take my hand off the <laughs> Shout out to Swamp, because you know, like, I'm not going to hold you up. Uh, well, first of all, mm -hmm. we got to talk about a very important aspect. No, nope, don't do it. No, no, no. I, I gotta, <laughs> you know, I got I to gotta bring this up, right? Because we didn't mention this in any of the other battles. Go ahead. The crowd. You know what I'm saying? It, like, was, it, it was the most prevalent was, in this It one. was definitely. No, it was prevalent all night, though. It was a lot of hold it down, hold it down, yeah. side talk, hold it down, hold it down. They talking, and it, it, you had to really fight through this crowd. Now Rex material was super mixtape. Mm -hmm. Like oh. I didn't I, I, I oh. this you know and this is what I've said, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know Rex for battling more than like three times a year. If ever. It's usually twice. He don't really battle that much. You know yeah. I mean? Not as much as he Once used he to. gets to three, four, five battles mm -hmm. a year, it's too much and you can see that it caught up to him. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? 
He had a good chiller. He had a great chiller battle. Fire chiller. He had another battle before that. He was. He's been doing this thing all year. Mm -hmm. He gets to this swamp battle. It sounds like a lot of late prep, a lot of uh, mixtape bars, mm -hmm. and you know he just didn't. He, he, he wasn't really getting resonated with the crowd too well, and it just wasn't a good night for Rex, man. It was one of those things too for Rex, which was wild to see. Is like yeah, even. The, the energy from Rex was different. Was it because Mook wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where was Mook at? Where was Mook at? Well, you he know what? He was at the party. <laughs> yo, fuck. Yo, hold on. We gotta go. We right See? now. It's time. See? We getting we, watered down around here. <laughs> we getting real political, man. We gotta keep this shit 2000. Cause we, all, we on Fox 5, bro. Nah, man, no, we gotta, we gotta, no, we gotta talk Cut about this. Let's get back on, we'll get back to this battle in a second. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. What did you think? Mm. Lux threw a party. Threw a party. A watch party. A watch party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a watch party. And Murder Mook was there. He was. So he's at the he's at that number hole. Cute, uh, cute, cute, cute enjoy with the video, whatever they was in there jigging. Right. <laughs> He and they in the number hole yeah. watching. <laughs> I, I would tell you to chill. Keep going. They had a juke joint watching. <laughs> Y'all having fine wine and more defined in a speakeasy. Yeah. <laughs> they had the political conference. <laughs> Got the battle on all the screens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wings and things Yo, being made. Got Duke, we got Duke, Duke, Duke Ellington over there playing yeah, on the right. piano. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> and, and yeah, so you know, but you know, he, he did it. So yeah. the crazy shit is, if they ever battle, he gonna use that. He shit. definitely gonna say that. You know? I made money off the battle with you before you did. Like all this type of shit. But uh, it's like this for for. But when we talk about Rex's material, and uh, there wasn't enough. Uh, I'm not gonna say the G word, but there wasn't enough. Uh, Petroleum on his side, on Rex's side, mm -hmm. and we are in the South, so Swamp is definitely going to resonate. That slow, slow, and that slow tempo, they love that shit down there. So to be fair, Rex actually was on, he was on the underside, he was on the B side, mm -hmm. but he was supposed to prevail. He was supposed to do the energy thing. He was supposed to throw his hat. I don't think he threw his hat. Did he throw his hat? Swamp had did it like more than once, so it took it away from him. God damn it! So it's he like he did, but it didn't really matter when he did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when we talk about performance and style wise, Rex was Rexing, but it wasn't Rexing. Yeah, Swamp, who's been Swamp, and we was talking about, and I was just saying this too. Now Swamp kind of gotta get thrown in there too, cause that's two legends too that he got on his on his list. Then he got Calico in a couple weeks. Hey, it, 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 listen, these, listen, this is something like fantasy football. Anything can happen within these next couple of months. The, the, you know, the top five can get rearranged in a different type of way. Because a win against Rex and a win against Verter, mm -hmm. and not just a win. But Av is already out there talking about a URL throwing a card in December to, for him to be on. So he might come back outside again. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, for, for all we know, the, the, it's definitely looking a little bit murky for 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 rock. Like when we when we say, you know, who's you know who's to do this? Like now at this point, rock kind of got an OD on Marv One, and I don't I don't necessarily want that. But let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. It's, we I got I got I got, I got, uh, I got who you got winning? I got Swamp three zip. Yeah yeah. You know I'm 30 30. Y'all say I don't like Rex, but it's 30 30. And, I, and that's my man's in there, man. son. That's your man. Yo, that's man. my. Yo, go. Yo. I'm not hating on I'm Rex, but an Angel Rex. did get his wings. You know what I'm saying? When Rex got humbled, you know what I'm saying? Angel gets their wings. <laughs> yo, anybody that ever looked at me wrong, <laughs> owes me money, mm. or said any jealous bullshit is dead. Rex, I gotta take the L yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? At least it matched the fit, though. Oh, at least yeah, it yeah, yeah, go yeah, with the yeah, fit. Yeah, I ain't mad. I rock my L well, mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, I rock my mm -hmm. L well, so uh... Let's talk about it. Let's talk about DK it. DK versus, oh I can get that out. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Send that out in the mail. Let's talk uh, about it. Big K versus New Jersey Twerk, you know what I'm saying? This battle was supposed to be uh, a, a highly touted match between Big K uh, and New Jersey Twerk. Mm -hmm. And you know, coming into this battle, a lot of people felt like 
there were some variables that were important, whether it was uh, New Jersey Twerk's participation or over participation in the Tay Rock battle. Mm -hmm. uh, one representing URL, the other one, you know, pretty much representing RBE at the time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a lot of back and forths, a lot of talks about this battle. This battle was a battle that was talked about for a while. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It was like one of them fantasy battles that it sounded good, but we never knew what was going to really happen. Right. And when it happened, um, you know, it, it, it went it went from right Ooh. to left real quick. You let me know what you think, man. I spoke on it. Look, man. All right. All right. Before I talk about the battle, mm -hmm. I have to address this part. Mm -hmm. Usually, whenever there's talk about New Jersey twerk, it's you. It's not usually, but typically, sometimes it comes from a negative standpoint because of the track record that he's had this year mm -hmm. so far. But. I forgot to mention and I failed to mention it, but allow me and most of y'all probably gonna clip this or you're not gonna clip this. New Jersey Twerk has actually been on a four battle run where we've counted him out or where we said he wasn't gonna win or we said he's not gonna be 100% even if he shows up. 40 bars, pass, um, damn it, I said yeah, it was 40 bars, pass, damn it, I just had it. But we uh but for this battle too for Big K, and and I'm I'm missing one more, I because there's one more out there. But for those past four battles, New Jersey Twerk not only showed up, gave us three full rounds of complete material, and he was twerk twerk to the highest level. Last night, I seen Prime Twerk, mm -hmm. the same aura, that same level that you get from New Jersey Twerk when he gets on stage and he raps. It's like a damn, it, the room was erupting. And he didn't even do none of his signature moves until the second round. Mm. These are the things that when we talk about star power and some of the most electrifying stuff we've ever seen, and when we talk about New Jersey twerk in this level, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we be saying. I felt like twerk had that type of eyes on the prize, if you will, because of last year. Mm. This is supposed to be the number one and the number two. Now that they're actually battling, Twerk had a lot of shit to prove against Big K. He showed up and showed out. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the fans, I'm sorry, and the fans showed Twerk that love. But they did not want to show Big K that same type of love. And that's where I have a problem with the crowd. Because it was this battle that was really bothering me. Because in the Swamp and T-Rex battle, it was a lot of hold it downs, hold it downs, hold it down, shut up, shh. And that's the part that bothers me because how is that y'all pay money to come to an event to have a conversation with your homie? I only do that when I get paid to come to the events and the homie is right there next mm -hmm. to me and we usually have a microphone, but I digress. Right. What happens is in these type of events, if, the, if, the, if you're not capturing the crowd, then it does look like on that side, it's not listening to the material wise, he's not cooking. VK even says it in the battle, he said at this point I don't even care about the crowd, I'm just rapping, I'm rapping to the camera. That's one of the signs that you yeah, lose. Yeah, yeah, it's always a sign. You know what I'm always saying? A sign. It's a couple signs. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that he was saying too is they're, they're here to see you. They say, yeah, you know they can't. That you already conceding, K. And it's not that it's because of the bravado that you have, Big K, as far as being the super blocker or that person that's always against the fans. Mm -hmm. Now they have their chance to go against you. Your bars and your material is supposed to over overpower all of that, and we still gotta give it up for you. But the dog did not strike again in this battle. Ran over. Yeah, uh, I don't think he should. You should ever fold your tent. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of war, per se, of course because so. it's like if. Even like like even if you do your your best, right, and your rounds are pretty good, Twerk was in a bag that Big K wasn't gonna beat him in anyway. You know at what all. I mean? Like he it's just like if I look at uh some of the material that I had written down and you know, it's not like a bar for bar for bar breakdown, but when you look at uh I'ma tell I'ma tell you like Tay Rock told the jeweler, you got my league <laughs> fucked, fucked up. up. You know what I'm saying? Uh he says uh <laughs> he was like <laughs> <laughs> he was like, uh, he said, uh, he said, the first time you got shot, he said, the first time, that's you, the yeah, the first time you shot a gun, you closed your eyes and hit something, fucking clown. The first time I shot, I hit something. He, he, hit he something did, too. he did something. The, the ground. fucking ground, like, come on, son. 
The first time I shot a nigga hit something. The fucking ground. Like, he was wild. And he had the TJ Marshalls down the street. was crazy. And that bar shook the building. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they were saying that there's 10,000 people in that room. Since you said we getting a little water down. Didn't look like 10,000 in the building. 10,000, not 10,000. 10,000. They didn't say 10,000. They said 1,000. It was 1,000? Okay, now that. Definitely sounds believable. Yeah. That's thousand, thousand, right. thousand people was in there. Ten thousand the NBA that's a little, game. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, that's a that's a baby Keem concert, if you right. will. Uh, but when you when that room erupted and shook, they fucked some audio up too. Cause we are gonna talk about that too. Cause they definitely was that audio mm -hmm. was was great for the stream, mm -hmm. but it definitely had that echoing sound that was bothering me. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting mad at that. It's when I can clearly hear the bald-headed nigga over there. Like, whatever nigga that they said they was going to jump. Hopefully, I, I hope y'all got that mission done. But there was somebody over there, and I could clearly just hear him heckling Big K. Choke over there. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't like, and I, and I could clearly hear that. So that lets me know that you came here to just boo a nigga. Get out. Like, I, I just, I... For Big K's material, if I if I don't think it does need a breakdown, but a couple of Big K's angles was working. It might have worked in a in a closed room setting, but you know not to put twerk in that type of setting either. Just, the star power alone pushed twerk over. The fact that twerk was fully prepared, right? It it was it was almost no way possible anybody could beat New Jersey twerk that night. No, it's that, that, impossible. Um, I will say this. Big K's always been an MC that the crowd's reaction, whether it be positive or negative, mm -hmm. will have an effect on his performance. Yep. He'll start, you know, doing yeah, all that. Yeah, the crowd's against him. Shut up. Like, I am not, don't, don't give it to me now and mm -hmm. all that other type mm -hmm. of shit. He'll do that type mm -hmm. of stuff. And, you know, I will say for his material, it was cool, but it was nothing. None of his rounds were crazier than what New Jersey Twerk had. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know if it was uh, the venue. I don't know if it was the crowd. I mean, like, I can't just blame the crowd because when Twerk was bombing. But I'm not going to lie. It was a very pro-Twerk crowd. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they was really, and that's maybe because of what he was able to do or how good his performance were. Yeah. But when he was, I'm strapped in, they was word for word, like, damn. The, mag Thug concert. the magnifying glass scheme didn't necessarily deserve the crazy reaction that it but got. But they gave it that. But they gave it. They did give it a little extra petroleum because mm -hmm. the, the some of the bars was dope in the magnifying glass. If I if y'all want me to, I can break that down. Not right now. But if y'all want me to, the magnifying glass scheme is fire. But the mm -hmm. setup before that on how K uh how uh. How he makes it a four, all four. You get out on all fours. That's why you're the dog. Mm -hmm. That type of writing is the shit that I love. Mm -hmm. When K tried to imitate twerk, he tried to do it. You did it in the beginning of the round. K, you got to set that up first. Then make it sound dumb. Because it didn't work. It did not work in the second. But it could have worked later in that second. But hey, twerk got all three of those rounds. I see you got a handle on your circle. Mm -hmm. Like a magnifying glass. Yep. That's a magnifying mm -hmm. glass. Now, um. Back to the back to the topic. So, I feel like that uh, <coughs> K, while he did, you know, have some serviceable material, it just was not enough mm -hmm. for, for what was needed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, New Jersey Tory got a big victory that you know him being on URL definitely could use. You know what I'm saying? They're always happy when one of their guys can go oh, out there yeah. and be the easy like uh, Geechee did or. You know, it just continues continue to exude dominance as far as, you know, with the way it leads the structure, of course. You know, we get we send our our top guy to go see one of your guys and they came back with a win. That means something, you know not, what I mean? Not to mention it also, uh, which which is funny since we, you know, since we watering it down, we throw a little henny in this, uh, we throw a little moonshine in this punch. <laughs> how happy or how sturdy do you think they got? <laughs> because when they first sent the first contract kill, over the king of the dot. They said Tay Rock and the Big K and they talking more about the gunfight itself, not just a clear and concise murder. Right. This was a murder. <laughs> I think they in there, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sure. And then you know if he you know if K get that phone call, yeah, I'ma kill one of y'all on URL. They like, it's fifty now. Fifty dollars? Yep. <laughs> so then you got none other than 
Hitman Holla versus Geechee Gotti. All right, so I'll just give it to you like this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different polls and a lot of different people was giving it their votes and things like that. And the battle was going, you know, the way it was going both ways, honestly. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's good. We need your opinion on how you felt the battle went. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What was your moments, you know what I mean? And things like that. The floor is yours. I'm going to be listening. When you are a fan of stand-up comedy and battle rap as much as I am, mm -hmm. um, there are certain things that you pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, in a comedy club, if there is an act who quote-unquote kills the crowd, I mean kills, mm -hmm. it's hard to follow up after that. Right. So we just had New Jersey twerk tear the goddamn building down. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to give us the main event right after that? Listen, you know the energy is going to be through the roof. Right. But then when you listen to the material that's coming from both sides, it kind of dwindles down just a little bit. I'm going to say that to say this. Geechee Gotti had a 14-minute first Talking about some straight gangster, uh, who you, he said a name who was the head of the Pyrus or the starter of the Pyrus. I he giving us information that I have no idea about. I'm catching it because I'm I like the education. You know what I'm saying? It's the fact that Geechee Gotti did a lot of his homework on Hitman Holler. He talked about what gang that was or how he uh, against Wack One Hundred. He said, No, 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 I ain't that. Mm -hmm. Geechee had all of that. He was like, he said, but then what are you? Before you was blood, you was yet yetting and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I loved all of that. God, I loved it. I right. loved it. Didn't understand 75% of it because of the fact that I am not a gang member, you know, nor am I an affiliate of any of this type of uh, 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 tomfoolery, if you will. You know, I will not be out here with you uh, 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 ruffians. But what I will tell you is it do sound good in the mud. Mm -hmm. With that being said, how do we judge the first round knowing that Geechee Gotti had a 14 minute first round trying to basically take down Hitman Holla on his gang ties? When Hitman Holla, when we talk about Hitman Holla, the gang affiliation part is probably number three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we talk about him on Wild Out. We talk about uh, the best performer of all time, the, the pioneer and Mr. Million Views and all of that. We, we might even talk about, you know, the incident with, with Sin and all that stuff. The gang tie stuff is kind of down at the, like, around the middle area. It's like low-hanging fruit, if you will, if you do it right. I think Geechee Gotti did it the perfect way in the first round. Problem is... Hitman also had to go right after that. Hitman's round was a lot shorter. But it was a lot more stuff that was attainable. Mm -hmm. But Hitman wasn't really hitting on the, the, the punches. And I noticed too, we talk about Hitman Holla being lyrical. Hitman Holla in the first round, you were being lyrical. But you weren't being Hitman Holla. That's why the first round to me is a Geechee Gotti round. He did take the most of the round, but Geechee Gotti's material, even if you condensed it, it was still better material than Hitman Holla's first round. Just my opinion. All right. I'm setting this preference because we really got to talk about it. In the third round, mm. Geechee Gotti has his worst round. It's a lot of the, it's not floundering because it's him and A-Ward, they do the same thing where they're not choking, they're not stumbling, but they're trying to find certain things. Like it feels like they're trying to pull bars out of the sky. And I feel like the third round is Geechee Gotti's weakest round, so also his shortest round, where the material doesn't really affect. And you 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 not on the you not on the gang stuff no more. Now we're getting into the chatty patty. Uh, uh, in this third round where Geechee Gotti usually does a lot of the my homies died so I gotta do this and, and we done shot niggas and we done did things and it ain't really pertaining to Hitman how mm. so therefore I give Geechee Gotti the first round and I give Hitman Holler the third round because in the third round 
Hitman Hollow was Hitman Hollow. Like, it's the, the with something with the bow and something I got the MP, get it with the something the problem. When you doing that, Hitman, when you in that bag, that's the Hitman Holla we like to see. That's the Hitman, let me not say we. That's the Hitman Holla I like to see where the performance is overlapping the bar. I don't give a damn about the bars. You performing that thing perfectly. You were taking that into the third round. This is like that fourth quarter clutch shot. Y'all all now, y'all now, you was down three. But now you went up seven points. You get this in that round because you were being the most critically of you. The second round is where we need to talk about. So let's talk about it. Second round, Gichi Gotti's angle is uh, it's Chatty Patty. Mm. I mean, there was a bunch of angles in the battle. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, so Gichi Gotti was 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 Chatty Patty. Mm -hmm. And Hitman Holler's round was Chatty Patty. Not a big fan of the Chatty Patty talk. Uh, uh. Your girl, <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? Um, uh, uh, Geechee's angle was uh, uh, he remixed uh, uh, Easy to Block Captain's angle where you know you uh, you didn't put a ring on hers, you let the you know they rung on her, but you didn't put a ring yeah, on her. Yeah. Now the engage bar was the was the big hit. You uh, you she couldn't she could engage in a gunfight, but you couldn't get engaged to her. That was Geechee's big angle, and Hitman Holla's angle in the second. Was for the majority of it was his homie had got some head from the girl Asia and and Asia also into would, Asia it, without a passport. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it was a lot of the 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 you know, something from Asia with something made in China. Something made in China that was a hit maker. Right. That was a hit right there. But you also had the Bangkok. All right, let's just we're gonna slide past that. But that's not what I want to talk about for me. That gives the win. In the second round, who to me got the, the the second round? That last five to seven minutes, mm -hmm. Hitman was back in that bag, where it was the something. Now we in that bag, and for that last five minutes, if you take all of the Asia shit out and all, you you can pick apart all of the maiden, keep the maiden China shit. I think for that, I gave Hitman. The second round because he was his full self, second and third, which then makes it hit me a hollow win in the, the second and the third round. That's my choice. Now we can really talk about it because I went to the polls because I thought it was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are giving Gichi Gotti first and second. That's the talk. Uh, you know, Hitman, salute to him, bags, bodies, everything he had going on. You know what I'm saying? You got to prepare an event. You gotta make sure all the battles happen. You know, there were issues with the stream. There were parts where it did look like a Chinese flick that it was got like, I could not understand what was going on with the battle, but I think it really had to. What's two words into what? this ball game? <laughs> and I gotta understand that we, that, uh, we could not we understand that it was kind of like. Uh, 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 he, was, uh, he was doing this part, and I had no idea what he was talking about. So, uh, <laughs> I have to see that footage, and even on the um, rap grid, it was still that way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh. Y'all gotta fix that. Fix that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I look at it from a perspective like this, you know. Hitman had a lot on his plate. Get you got it. You kind of knew the angles that he was gonna come in with. You know what I'm saying? He angled in the first, you know what I mean? I did take uh, some notes and quotes. Mm -hmm. uh, he talked about him getting robbed in the Nickerson Gardens. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, he looking for a fade, bitch, they already lined you up. I thought that was fire. Mm -hmm. He went live. They got watches for free from you, like a bootlegger. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He got the watches for free. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, you know, he talked about him going on his first drill and saying, you know, you better be ready. He said, no, nigga, you think you are. Nigga, you better be. He said he forced you out of where you from like a refugee. I like that. Mm -hmm. And I like the, you know, we said with the, no, 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 I don't claim that. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that blood pressure was too high, like them niggas at Sugar Vent. I like that joint. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. See, it's a bar, and then you get out of it. You mm -hmm. don't stay on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was niggas putting graffiti on the wall, popping and locking for some shit you trying to be, boy. Mm -hmm. Fire. But he didn't stay on any one thing too long. Like, he'll go to this, first go round. to that, go to this, right? First round is, um, yeah. <laughs> he said, if he, he asked him about the gangs he knew and rep, he said, if he say none, that last name prevalent, like the gang where he came from, mm -hmm. he said, uh, you ain't worried about a hitman loss. He said you worried about a. He said you about. He said you worried about a loss, hit man. I'm worried about when I kill you. I'm not gonna get the rest of my money like Dolph hit man. Ooh, we were going 
crazy that first. Dollars. Oh, wait. Uh, he said, I can still go around the block. It's a text free. He said, You trying to prove to us you from an incredible gang, from a credible gang. We no. know you with you, Nick you Cannon, incredible. you incredible gang. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. He said, Yo, he said, You yell your Pyru shit more than your accomplishments. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because in the Pyru, you ain't accomplished shit. I like that joint. Yeah. He the said, gang, uh, the gang. Like I said, this you first You ain't no Pyru, little Joe. You just <laughs> Red Squad. You just little Joe from the Red Squad. <laughs> wow. Wild and wild and like he was going crazy in the first, you know yes. what I'm saying? Hitman first, he I mean I mean in that round, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he was that that and that was his first that you were saying was very impactful. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Hitman he It also felt the most complete. Mmm. Yeah. And Hitman was angling in his first. He used the angles about uh the, he, he talked about caffeine a couple times. Mm -hmm. URL had to show my caffeine numbers to Just, invest in them. Was, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had to rely on caffeine to keep the people uh, to keep the people woke. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I was somewhere off making caffeine money too. Then he said the line about uh, gender reveal. Me and my niggas get excited when we, we see, see blue. blue. That was that was cool. Yeah. Uh, he said I won't stall you out on the type to catch him in the bathroom. I understood. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I'll be back, I'll be back. I'm just saying, it was a boy. I didn't write this shit. He said, was? <sighs> he said, I'm a whole star. You see, my brother. No, see, you missed the bar, my brother. You see, my brother. He said, why stall him out when I could catch him in the bathroom? You catch him in a bathroom stall, which makes it worse. That's not good. No. One of my biggest fears is being, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny because Gishi got it said it. He said, you gonna catch me in the bathroom. I'm a boy, Damon. That was that perfect. That was perfect. Keep going. Uh, he had the telescope line. He had the, the five five seven seven six two. Right. Ming, 762. Shoot him in the Philadelphia jersey. That's, That's seven, a 762. Seven, six, and I said, oh, hold on, wait. It, but it, 76 or something. Yeah. It was lyrical. <laughs> That's lyrical hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and then, but the second, you know. Uh, you know what was bothering me too, what Hitman was doing? That's a scheme. Nigga. That's a scheme right there. Mm -hmm. Hitman, you, you do know like we paid to to watch this. Obviously, if we paid to watch an event, I, th I, would, I would hope. I would hope. Mm -hmm. If we paid to watch a battle rap event, we would at least know what a scheme was. I'm just saying, I would at least, I mean, I, I'm great at this. You know, you're great at this. You know, bloggers, we don't count. But why are you explaining to the niggas in the front row, that's a scheme. Nigga, we know what a scheme is. Mm -hmm. It's just not working. <laughs> like, you're, you're, the the laundry scheme? Downy. <sighs> oh my God. All right, if I got a nitpick, Bar wise. Down, he had nothing to gain. He had nothing to gain, and, and repeat, something he got tied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, Rinse and repeat, I put a something. bounty on your head. Oh my god! <sighs> and you gonna tell me that that's a scheme, Hitman? <laughs> like Hollow said, it's the exit sign. We know it's coming because we see it from a mile away. Keep going though, because this is the this the yeah this that that this that, is the third right this here. The, this is the third yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, well, that was with the with the he the said, bounty scheme. Yeah, but he started it off. He said, uh, "Pop, they popped me and left. I got abandonment issues." He said, "I had do O's with that looked like powdered donuts." He was like, uh, "What?" O's that looked like powdered donuts. Yeah, because the, oh, the donut is an O, is a o. Mm -hmm. and when you throw the powder on it, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he says, uh, first time I felt a little a safe, I was on a house late. You know what I'm saying? The first time I felt a little safe. Mm -hmm. I, was I on felt a, house. a little safe. I was on a house. Yeah, Come on, got it. Come on, got it. You know what I'm saying? That was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, he said uh, that he had to, he brought back that one line when he was talking about paying his homie's phone bill. They finally stopped they finally paying it. They finally get it. That's cool. That's and cool. that's when he got into the whole laundry scheme. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. really. I, I wasn't a fan of that from Gotti, but. Hitman had one too where he was like, that's a scheme. I'm the guy. I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that. But third, the second, when y'all understand what I'm saying, in the end of the second and going into the third, I felt like Hitman was complete all three rounds. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm giving Hitman how the, the battle 
is because of all of the things that we were faulting, not we, but all of the things that I be faulting these guys for, you know, uh, Calico had an event, main event, lost. John John had a main event, lost. Or if that didn't happen, but it's one of those That's things. That's a loss. Yeah, 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 that is a loss. He took more than one loss. Uh, and uh, I believe there was one, one or two more uh, that I could think of but off the top of my head. But th in this time, in this, in this instance, the the league owner mm -hmm. waited until the end and actually had a battle, made the battle debatable, mm. making it debatable with Hitman Holler. Ty goes to whoever you felt it, it's preference. Hitman kind of, I like Hitman material a little bit better. Just a little bit. If I got to say on a scale, it's 55-45. Just wasn't a big fan of the, you know, uh, uh, Gagati definitely let off that gas. And I think once we was watching it in the third round, we was all saying the same thing. Like, Gagati left a lot out there. Mm -hmm. All Hitman got to do is just give it complete, go, go ham and stay direct, and which he did. Hitman got the battle, man. Yeah, you know, I gave it to Hitman yesterday. It was a, a cold war in here, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I had to, like, uh, face the, North, the invasion in Normandy and all that, you know what I mean? My, my I, I was my definitely, fault. um... <laughs> uh, but no, I, I said that I felt like the way that I liked, I really liked the way Hitman had ended his second round in comparison to Geechee. Mm -hmm. When Hitman had that flurry, he was just kept throwing flurries mm -hmm. towards the end of his rounds, yep. you know what I'm saying? I, like, might, I like, might condense that and do that in a recap. Yeah, so, like to, 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 to end it off with, uh, mm -hmm. you know, he said, Will, Will Smith and Gemini, man, I'm chasing, chasing myself. myself. I outclassed him. I'm taking the belt. Mm -hmm. You jumped in the water not knowing you was racing, racing with Phelps. Phelps. Come on, yeah. I shoot good. They wouldn't trade me for Steph. <laughs> Delivery on Amazon, they raise you with Jeff. Like, come on, sign that's like the that pocket. Was, uh, that right there. Like, <laughs> we might have to do a segment where we just like take like the eight to twelve bars and call that pocket of flow. And then he, the way we sound like, he said extensions to, to the to his head, not the kind he be selling. That was kind of that was. That was, hey man, was I'm saying, hey man, was that man? He was that man. He was that man. His third, uh, he had that. Uh, I got a reload with the bullets that came out of. That was crazy. Uh, the contract. It don't it don't say shit cause I made cause it. Cause I made yeah. Come on, man. Listen, they're gonna on, be people man. that's gonna debate the battle. I'm not knocking you. You can pick who you want. I mean, that's what we're here for. We can talk but about it. In, in these regards, you know. I had it, man. man. I, 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 and not to mention, uh, and, and, and the last but not least, this is no you know no slip no slight to to Gichi Gotti, but Gichi Gotti is one of those guys we see a lot. One of those guys where I I kind of tell. When I, for, for me, I know, or I can at least see mm -hmm. when somebody is floundering or when they're flustering, not to mention you're looking at a Charlie Clips fanatic. Mm -hmm. So when you see Charlie do that a lot, mm -hmm. you see a lot of the predecessors that are of the same cloth. We know when New Jersey Twerk is floundering. We know when uh, when Geechee Gotti's doing that because he's going to do a lot of, yeah, 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 cuz, you mean, you got on glasses. Yeah, yeah, you're not in the battle, you know what I mean? Right, like, right, and, right, and right. So it's like, we know what that floundering looks like, and A-Ward did it, to, uh, he did it last night too. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to get a little bit more into your poker face now. Like, you know, you got to convince me that this stuff wasn't written two days ago. Right, right. And, you know, Hitman was in more definitive pockets. You know, his flow was more cadenced. His, his, his you know, when you go angle for angle, you know, even if I go angle for angle, mm -hmm. gossip for gossip, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of what Geechee said, even though there was some reactions, were some reactionary lines, was mm -hmm. said right? yep. in different manners. You know yep. what I'm saying? You know, you didn't propose, you didn't propose, yep. you didn't engage, you didn't engage. Yeah. Great. It was great for for the viewing's perspective. Mm -hmm. But if I'm listening to Hitman, give me some brand new shit. Yeah. I can kill Asia with something made in China. I like never, yeah. I never heard that before. So then when I gotta weigh these, weigh both of these 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 bags of weight, mm -hmm. you know, the one that that I'm hearing some newer shit yeah. is gonna weigh a little bit more than you know repackage work. And, and Hitman is a, a high view person, right? So you yeah. pretty much seen Hitman's battles over and over again. So those cinnamon or what? No, he cinnamon. We we. We see that coming. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The bullet in the back of the head, but you ain't married. We see that coming. Ill Will did it. Easy to block Captain did it. So Geechee, what you gotta do is take it and revamp it, which is what you did. 
it just didn't hit the way that it was supposed to. What you think about the battle event overall? Though? Let's talk about the event overall. Ba event of the year? Okay. I'm asking. I, I mean, I'm. Is it? I mean, some will say, some will say King of the God event. You know what I mean? Uh, I have a, I have a top three, and um, I don't have no top events this year. This event, well, this year wasn't last year, so no. That's why I'm, no. I'm still stuck I, on what event is going to be better than Max Out Three. Well, none at this moment. But if we're going for the year of 2024, I would say for right now, the top three events is probably going to be. I still, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a tie between Mass Six and Known. Almost really good, not talked about a lot. But when you say loaded lux rum nitty, and then you think about the rest of the card, mm -hmm. also fight like that delivered. Right after that, you had mass six, that's two days. The only thing that to that detriment is you could take a couple of them battles from day one and put it on day two, and then we got a complete fire event. Mm -hmm. Trench's event was also fire too. Not one battle was terrible. But right there, it's like right there. You 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 might have power moves up there. It, it, Everything delivered is just, it was, in this event, clearer wins. Everybody was a clear winner. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no rewatch to debate. Right, right, right. My opinion. Right, right, right. But, performer of the night? New Jersey Twerk. Yeah. Most shocking win? Most shocking win? Ooh. Adverse A word. Mm -hmm. it, that, to, yeah, yeah. That was that was a shocker to me for some reason. I, I think yeah, that was a shocker because J Two and Snake Eyes with that didn't surprise me. Well, there it goes, man. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Got the guy in the building. Hey, man. You know what it is, gang, gang. Make sure y'all stream. You know what I'm saying? We all start rapping like that. Make sure y'all stream gang. and shit. Woo woo. Stay tuned. Call out. See. I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair It's the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with the feds in the D Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the feds in the D-A